Hello again, and welcome back. So, last episode... Uh, well, I, I started out intending to create another little network up here, and then eventually uh, ended up well, connecting it to the entire network. So, um, we have extended considerably our reach. Uh, let's have a look. And uh, offline I did a little bit of building. I, I turned this area into a three-way junction and this area into a three-way junction as well. Because I think watching me building that in my not very dexterous manner is not terribly interesting. It's the concept that's interesting. Uh, not my terrible attempts at uh, putting down track on the map. So this, for example, now this... This is how I would, this is a perfect, what I call a perfect station layout. Okay, we got the main line going dead straight. Oh, we have in and in out in both directions. We've got a bit of track there that we shouldn't have, which is going to annoy me. So, let me, uh, uh, lift that up. There we go. Uh, we got so we got an entrance can come in from this way and from this way uh, We have a division so we have delivering trains arriving on this free track and They can go out in both directions and We have picking up trains which will be taking the whatever this facility produces building materials in this case and it can go out in both directions. And so that is what I call perfect. Look at that lovely sort of, you know, same exits, boom, boom, perfect, perfect layout. So that's the sort of thing, if you can, if you can arrange your layout like that and have a nice row of industries right along the edge of your uh, main line, um, and as I say, I picked a, a map with uh, with minimal industry, so we started with almost nothing on the map. But now, uh, well, like I say, it's, when you've got so many industries, it's just it's too easy. <laughs> it's the, the the question is, what do I connect, as opposed to is there something to connect? Uh, and I like a challenge. I think we all like a challenge. I mean, when if you play a game and it's easy peasy, it's boring. You like something that you need to think. Oh, how do I how do I figure this out to to make it work? Uh, struggle. Struggling is more fun than easy peasy in life, isn't it? More enjoyable. You get much more satisfaction from solving a difficult problem than walking into a situation that you know exactly what to do. Anyway, there we are. Um, I don't know that there's much point in carrying on with um, with doing this because it would just be making money. One thing that I would um, say is that the, the utility of the groups. I mean, I just can't stress enough. People don't seem to like groups and they don't seem to use them. Watching, you know, from watching other people. Nobody plays this way from the content that I've seen on YouTube. Um, everybody kind of just builds a line from here to here and another line from here to here and then they end, everything ends up all higgledy piggledy um, with everything crossing over and trying to or they build networks with you know four-way junctions and you know a four-way junction it just takes up a ton of space on the map it's complicated uh, you get traffic jams and you know a three-way junction and then a three-way junction down here does exactly the same job and it, a three-way doesn't matter what it looks like as long as trains coming this way can go left and right uh, left and, and straight on the trains coming in from this side can go left and right and the trains coming from this way can go right and can go straight on that is all you need doesn't matter what it looks like if you put bridges tunnels whatever but you only need two, two bridges or two tunnels in order to create a three-way junction. So you create a three-way junction over here, and you create a three-way junction over here, and you have a four-way junction. 
with just four tunnels or four bridges or whatever combination of tunnels and bridges whereas if you try and make a four-way junction you're going to have six tunnels or bridges all around the section and everything is going to be all confused and yeah just build it over here build another three-way junction here and have your trains going that way and you know it doesn't if the train has to go like this to go straight on so what you know the rather than go super straight if you're dealing with express passengers and you need a straight super line well do it like the the tgv in france have a dedicated line for your express trains if i wanted to build like for example if this coal mine to here was absolutely essential i would just have a dedicated line for it and just have trains coming in it would still be they would still be going around in a in a in a loop because that's just the way i do it but it would be a dedicated line and i would take all the trains or i would leave the the network for everything else so you can do that you know nothing stops you having a dedicated like up here i'm thinking of just building a little a little shunter that just goes from here to here uh, because this is sand and stone and I, what I really want is the chemicals here and it takes stone so I'm not interested in the money from taking the stone to here but I'm interested in getting the chemicals to take the chemicals uh, to this facility because then I can deliver all three ingredients bauxite chemicals and scrap metal I mean we've already got ridiculous amounts of metal waiting because in the time that it took us to build all this stuff uh, I didn't put any extra trains on the network so uh, you know and now it's just a question of and, and the other thing you can do with groups like for example if I wanted to focus on the metal up here I could temporarily create like um, aluminium growth right so that was a subgroup there. so I put it up aluminium growth and then I can put in the scrap which is the scrap metal and the metal and the uh, what else am I delivering uh, the bauxite the bauxite so I can put all of these in that oops that's I want to put that in the Oh, uh, this is not what I wanted to do. There we are. So we have now a group aluminium growth. We've got the three trains that we have on that route and we've got the bauxite route. We've got the metal route and the scrap route. So if I wanted to pay particular attention, uh, my apologies, that was my telephone. Um, if I wanted to pay particular attention to this uh, particular thing while I was doing other things, I can keep this here and then I can just quickly go and I can see where all these trains are just by clicking on them I can see where they all are on the network very quickly boof boof and boof and then make decisions do I want to add extra trains do I want to uh, do I have trains waiting you know I you know, basically it helps you manage helps you keep a keep an eye on what's going on uh, so that's another advantage another thing that you can do with the groups and then you can just move them all back later you know now I mean I've got what do I do I mean do I um, do I take these do I now find a place to deliver these building materials uh, do I take these um, engineering supplies to the quarry and upgrade the Quarry, I have to change the consist of my trains here. I decided I was going to have shorter trains. I need to flatten out the, you know, there's so many things that I can do now. And we've got so, a new factory has appeared, farm, you know, a dairy, uh, dairy farm, livestock, we've got livestock, milk, we've got milk available. Um, we got farm supplies and we got a farm, you know, we got... We got chemicals. Yeah. Now we've got so much that we can do. It's it's a question of what do I do? 
Um, and so I don't think that that is really quite so instructive or such fun because when you're spoilt for choice, it's easy. So I think I'm going to end that series here unless people particularly want to, uh, if anybody watches it, because <laughs> I just put it up and uh, obviously uh, uh, nobody knows of the channel's existence, so it's not getting any views. So I'll leave it up for a while and see if uh, people are interested and I'll save the game and uh, if there is any interest in pursuing this any further, uh, then we can do something about it at a future date. So there we are. I will save it as first 15 and we'll leave this series here. Um, unless popular demand says otherwise. Okay, enjoy playing your open TV however you play it and uh, see you around. Bye.